Our tutorial, Artificial Neural Network Regression. Supervised deep learning consists of using multi-layer algorithms for finding which class output target data belongs to or predicting its value by mapping its optimal relationship with input predictors data. Main supervised deep learning tasks are classification and regression. This topic is part of deep learning regression with R curse. Feel free to take a look at curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of forecasting, business, training or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of the video. Artificial neural network for supervised deep learning consists of predicting output target feature by dynamically processing output target and input predictors data through multi-layer network of optimally weighted connection of nodes. Nodes are organized in input, hidden, and output layers. Weight decay L2 or sparsity L1 regularizations are used for lower invariance errors generated by a greater model complexity. For full reference, I recommend that you read Bishop, Neural Networks for Pattern Recognition, published by Oxford University Press in 1995. Artificial neural networks have an activation function, which describes linear or nonlinear connection between nodes. For supervised deep learning, linear, rectified linear unit, hyperbolic tangent sigmoid, or logistic sigmoid functions are used. As a formula, here we have the example of the linear activation function in which the activation function of the hidden layer is equal to that hidden layer. Backward propagation of errors using quasi-Newton, limited memory, Broyden, Fletcher, Goldfrapp channel, stochastic gradient descent, or adapted moment estimation or ADAM algorithms consist of finding optimal node connection weights by minimizing information loss measured through sum of square errors. As a formula, we have the minimization of the sum of square errors, in which the sum of square errors are equal to the sum from the first to the last of the differences between output target data minus output target node prediction and that result to the power of 2. Output target node prediction in turn is equal to the sum from the first to the last of the number of hidden nodes of the corresponding hidden output target node connection optimal weights multiplied by the activation function and within its parenthesis we have the sum from the first to the last of the corresponding hidden input predictor nodes connection optimal weights multiplied by input predictors data. Notice that within this formula there is the assumption of zero intercept node connection optimal weights. Great, so let's go into R Studio so that we can study artificial neural network regression with greater detail. Excellent, so here we are within R Studio. The first step within the tutorial is to load its packages. This is done with library function and for the tutorial we'll be using QuantMod and NeuralNet. So we select these two code lines, we click run or control enter on the keyboard which is equivalent. The next step is to create our artificial neural network regression data. For that, we'll be doing data reading, and we create this data variable, which is equal to read.csv. Within it, we have the name of the data file, ANN, for artificial neural network regression data.txt. So this is a plain text file with .csv or comma separated values, which is being stored within the working directory. Comma header equals to true. So we select that code line, we click run or control enter on the keyboard. Notice that this data object has been created within the global environment as a data frame. So if we click on the spreadsheet kind of icon, that opens the data variable for us, which has two columns, first dates and then SPY adjusted. SPY is the ETF investment vehicle, which intends to replicate the standard and poor's 500 index adjusted because it includes the adjusted close prices, which were adjusted for dividends and splits. So here we have data with a daily frequency from the beginning of 2007 to the end of 2015, therefore nine years of data. 
So going back into the code file, the next step is we are going to create an extensible time series named SPY, which is equal to XTS, that's extensible time series, and we select from data, the second column with the data of SPY adjusted close prices, comma order by equals as date, data the first column with those corresponding dates. So we select that code line, again click run or control enter on the keyboard, and that created the SPY variable as an XTS or extensible time series. And again, if we click on the spreadsheet kind of icon, that opens the data for us, and we see the same data as within data, but now the dates became the index of this extensible time series. So going back into the code file, the next step is we are going to create this corresponding artificial neural network regression target and predictor features. Here, as an example for the tutorial, we'll be creating the target feature, which corresponds to current day returns and predictor feature previous day's returns. So here we create the target feature RSPY equals to daily return of SPY, those corresponding adjusted close prices. This calculates the arithmetic rate of return. Then we have the predictor feature RSPY1, and what we do is we lag RSPY, comma K equals to one. So these are going to be previous days returns. Then we create a data frame, which we're going to name RSPY all, which is equal to C bind or column bind. And we bring together RSPY and RSPY one. We rename their columns with the corresponding column names with C and then RSPY and RSPY one. And finally, we remove any rows with non-availables within them with NA.exclude. So we select all those code lines, again, click run or control enter on the keyboard. The next step with the data is we're going to delimit training and testing ranges. Training range is used for algorithm training, while testing range is used for forecasting accuracy evaluation of that previously trained algorithm. For this tutorial, we'll only be using the training range for the artificial neural network regression fitting. So, for educational purposes, as an example, we'll be using the first seven years of data for training range and the last two for testing range. Notice that these ranges can be modified according to your needs. So we'll create these two variables, RSVYT, T for training range, F for testing range, and we do so with window function for RSPY all, the training range ends at the beginning of 2014, while the testing range starts at the beginning of 2014. So we select these two code lines, click run or control enter on the keyboard. So now that we have all the data ready, we can continue with the artificial neural network regression fitting. So notice here that we create this variable named ANNT, artificial neural network T, because we're doing this within the training range, and we'll be using neural net function. Within it, we describe the function in which we have the target feature being explained by the predictor feature, comma data RSPYT from the training range, hidden equals to one. That's the number of nodes within the corresponding single hidden layer. And then we have activation function, and we can see here equals to function of X and within brackets X, therefore we are doing it with a linear type of activation function. Excellent. So let's go ahead and select the code line and then we click run or control enter on the keyboard. And now we're going to print its results. We do so here with ANNT and with a dollar sign, we have its results matrix and we're also visualizing it within a chart. So we select these two code lines, click run or control enter on the keyboard. Perfect. So looking here first at the corresponding console, we have the results matrix. And specifically, we are going to focus on this corresponding optimal node connection weights. So the first of this corresponds to the intercept to hidden corresponding optimal node connection weight. So if we look at this value here is also this value right here. So notice here that we have the corresponding intercept and then with the corresponding connection to the hidden node. Then we have here the corresponding input to hidden optimal node connection weight, which is the value we also have here from that corresponding input to the hidden node. Next, we have from the intercept to the output node. And that value is found right over here from that corresponding intercept 
to the output node. And last here we have the hidden to the corresponding output node optimal connection weight. So this is the value right here from the corresponding hidden node to that output node. Excellent. Something very important to mention, as we can see also here within the chart, is that we have three layers, input, hidden, output, in each of them with three nodes, input, hidden, and output. When speaking about deep learning regression, it is commonly done with at least two hidden layers. So it's an important observation to take into consideration. Excellent. So now that we've finished studying artificial neural network regression, let's go back into our slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of forecasting, business, trading or investment advice. Please pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.